So are you more masculine or are you more confident? Do you realize you can be masculine without being confident? And you can be confident without being masculine. A lot of guys put those two together. And do you realize that if you do master being confident and masculine at the same time, you become really charismatic. But on top of that, you also start to lead an amazing life. You start to go for your dreams. You start to step into more tension and start to have fun with it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play a talk for you that I gave a few years back where I talk about this very topic. And we're going to go much deeper into it. And what I want from you is I want you to comment. I want you to let me know if you think you're more masculine or more confident, or if maybe you're both, or maybe you need to work on both. I really want to hear your opinion in this video. So make sure to comment below uh, when the video is done. Now, with that said, let's dive right in. Masculine is the capacity to ground, contain, and lead. Okay, so you have that capacity, especially ground and contain. That's what masculine does. Okay, you have the, the, all the units there, and you can do it in your knowns. Things you're familiar with. Like, let's say you love football and you get out and been playing since you were a kid. Maybe overall you're insecure, but when you're on that football field, that's your known, your masculine shows up because it's in you. It's there already. When we were doing this morning and I would hit line, like, like you, when I talk about your sales job, we'd see you drop in a little bit. They would, oh, there's the masculine there. It's turning on. Okay. So they have the masculine. Uh, or you'll see this guy, sometimes it's insecure that's just sitting there and you can feel his masculinity. Like if there was a, a you could feel that he can handle a lot of tension, but is he going to choose to get up and walk into that tension by his own choice, his own volition? That's where the confidence comes in. Confidence is, I don't know what's going to happen here. It's unknown, but I'm going to go apply my skill set to it. I'm going to go walk up to that girl and say hi. Just because you're masculine doesn't mean you have the balls to walk up to the girl and say hi. It just means you'll feel grounded and masculine when you do. Just because you're feminine doesn't mean that you'll use your nurturing skills to help somebody that's, 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 that's crying on the corner. You know, a little kid that's hurt and crying. But if you have the confidence, you will. You know, some people will. It was, I saw a video the other day. It was... Um, they had a hidden camera, not hidden camera, they had street, there was a camera on the street and cop picked it all up. This bus driver was driving down the street, it was below 32 degrees out, and she sees this little kid running down the street in bare feet, a little girl running down the street, and, and by herself, you know, that's, you, somebody sent it. It was crazy, yeah, she got, like, their legs are exposed, bare feet, she's running down the street, she's crying. The bus driver just slams on the brakes of the bus and runs out and runs over and grabs the kid and brings it into the bus, and then they put a jacket around, but... How many people probably ignored that kid? Just like, what the fuck? And then it ran by. You know what I mean? And um, turned out her mother left her outside and went inside and just forgot about her. So the kid started, got lost and was running down the street freezing. And I don't know how the whole story, but it's, it's kind of freaky. But that bus driver had the balls to take action. Now, that was on an extreme amount of tension, right? She stepped in it. Her natural motherly instincts kicked in, too. So there's some feminine in that, right? But then also... What about little things? Like, let's say your girlfriend's mad at you. You got the, you're masculine, you're grounded, but what she wants to see is your confidence. She wants to see you take that masculine groundedness and, and step into the tension with her and, and, and connect to her. And she's going to sit there and she's going to keep poking at you to see what you'll do, right? Is he going to show up, right? He's, he's walling off more, so I'm going to poke harder. He's walling off more, so I'm going to push more. And then eventually, I'm going to pull away from him and see what he does. And she's all the time she's waiting for you to show up. So what she's saying is, yeah, I like you. You got mas great masculine energy, but where's your confidence? Do you see the difference? The second stage guy can have some confidence. So a guy, let's say a guy that's not really masculine or feminine. Maybe he's not even in second stage. He's not really a nice guy, but he's in a second stage. He can be more confident than a masculine guy. Maybe he doesn't have good grounding. Maybe he doesn't have good tension skills in the sense that his ability to apply them. But he goes for it. And in a weird sort of way, that can be rewarded more sometimes than, like if you got a really masculine guy that just kind of won't go for it and he's insecure, and you've got a guy with amazing, like, I, I don't have your, 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 your masculinity, but I'm going to go for it anyways. And he goes for it over and over. Which, which one are the people going to respect more? Which one would you be more impressed by, ladies? He goes for it. Yeah. In the face of the guy that steps into tension in the face of his own fear and takes risk, that guy's going to get rewarded. He's going to be so much more respected. That's why women love confidence so much. Why is that so important? Not just to women, but to everybody in the world. 
Like that little boy doesn't has hasn't fully developed his confidence yet. He's being initiated into manhood. He's sticking his hand in the fire ant hill. He's surviving for a month in the woods. And he can you see the respect you immediately give? Like you don't even have the skills yet, yet you're fucking owning it. You're going for it. What does that say unconsciously to you about this guy? He's not there yet. He may not be there yet, but what does he have? Exactly. He's willing to do it. He's willing to go for it. So in her mind, in, what, in a lady's mind, if I'm with that guy, what's he going to be like in six months, a year, two years, if he keeps doing this? Whereas the other guy won't even try. They look at your potential as much. Do you, would you agree, ladies? How much do you look at man's potential? Too much. Too much. Yeah. Yeah, something too much. Can you elaborate on that a bit? <laughs> You can't, can't, yeah. We see, we see what, what you can, can be, be, and we we'll live all in that. that. Yeah, fight for a tooth and nail, and then mm-hmm. you'll just be caught up, and you're like, "Wait a second, I I lived." Instead of him actually showing up, and then we actually switched, I guess, the roles. And, you know, like now I'm leading, now I'm taking charge, now which is um, demas- demasculating, demasculating, yeah, yeah. him. But um, just living way too in the potential, and but if you needed, now that's different. So now you got the masculine guy who's not showing up or semi-masculine guy who's not showing up. But what about the guy who just every day is like, I'm going for it again. So, right. Yeah. So what? So yeah. yeah. But that's the, it's willing to fall down. Your example of like, here's somebody that was masculine, but wasn't confident in, you know, that you can be masculine and like insecure. With yeah. It. But the guy that is continues going after it, it's, it's yeah. Yeah. Such. And that's, that's the guy that's got, he'll pass the other guy up someday. Yeah, he develops more and more attachment to outcome, more and more freedom from outcome. Because you're gonna you're gonna have to constantly be detaching from bigger outcomes as you grow. Maybe you're maybe starting a small business is easy for you, and you're unattached to outcome. But maybe starting a multi million dollar business and getting investors and and going big right away, that freaks you the fuck out. See what I mean? So that might be your next level. Okay, so let's take a look at this a, a, a little deeper. What is what are some of the skill sets uh, of masculinity? We, we and I want specific actual skill sets. I'll give you the first one, uh, the, the obvious one. It's the one that that all masculinity is based on. What does a tree trunk do for the tree? The roots in the trunk support the rest of the tree. As it yeah. Itself. And that's, is that masculine? Or do you guys agree? What does a picture frame do for the picture? So the, it's the grounding element, okay? So one, we've got grounding. Masculine is a very grounding energy. Even if they don't have confidence, you can feel their rock solid groundedness, right? Does that everybody agree to that? You ever see somebody like, maybe he's not confident, but he can feel that he's a rock solid guy in general? Okay. Is grounding something you can practice? How? Heard you talk about it like a while back. You know, so you feel that you're feet or something like that. Well, partially, it, but it needs to be more than just a like. I'm well, what I hate about a lot of metaphysics and new age stuff is they say, okay, feel your feet, feel your legs. Feel your, but until you have a visceral experience of it really happening, to me, it doesn't count. That is the right path, but we need to get you a visceral experience, a difference. Versus saying, just keep doing it and someday you'll feel it. I hate that shit. Okay. And sometimes that is the case. Somebody's super numbed out. We just, our whole goal is just to get them feeling anything at that point. And that's a process. So I have to go subtler and subtler and subtler and then back and then start climbing back up. Okay. So grounding is this, it causes calming. It takes energy that's electric or, or feminine energy that's full and it calms it. So when the feminine gets too big, you can use the grounding to calm it back down, just like in electricity, right? And some guys need a lot more grounding, to be honest. Some guys, you know, are just all over the place. They need to learn to ground themselves. And it's, it's a very calming, safe energy. 
When a girl's with a guy that's very grounding, she usually feels safe. So hopefully you got a lot of value out of that video. So make sure to comment if you haven't commented already. I definitely want to hear what you have to say. And if you really want to see a good demonstration of masculine and confidence, you got to watch my previous video on uh, a man that made his girlfriend angry. And in turn, she respected him more and built a whole career because of it. He changed her life by not being afraid to use his masculinity and his confidence. So there'll be a link somewhere in here where you can uh, click on that video and check it out right now if you haven't already. So with that said, make sure to like and make sure to subscribe. I don't want you to miss any of the future content that's coming out. We got a lot of great stuff coming. Make sure to hit the bell notification and uh, make sure to share. And with that said, remember, only the courageous really live. I'll see you in the next video.